They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. We are back with Rolling Cold Customs, baby. So you guys, you guys saw the intro. You got, you know, you liked it. Come on, come on, hit that thumbs up button. You know, you like the intro. So you guys know what we have going today. We're going bigger and bigger, bigger than ever, with Rolling Cold Customs. And what I'm going to do is we got a couple projects. First, we have to go down to the police department. They're going to give us two cars. One of them we're going to keep. One of them we're going to do work for them, so that way we can keep one car. They're going to give us a car. While we do work on one of their cars. It's hard to explain, but I'll show you guys that. And then also, we have to go to an older gentleman. Now, he, he bought... I wish I knew my trucks better. I wish I knew my trucks better. But he bought an old Chevy, and he wants airbags on it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to throw airbags on this thing so he can lower it. He can do whatever he wants for it. So it'll, it'll be it'll be sweet. And then we got to pick up two new trailers. we got to pick up a new truck, the new tow rig truck. It's going to be sweet. Um, oh, Dude, there's so much more. Thank you to Expendables Mine, by the way. I'm using a ton of their mods this video, like the lowering truck will be Expendables modding, so check them out down below, dude. And you guys can get most of these mods. I'll have most mod links down below. I know, like, I, dude, I, I'm horrible at putting mod links down below, but hey, I'll have them in this video. I'll have them in this video. So, there we go. We're going to, okay, well, first of all, what I want to do is, I want, oh, I got to clean this thing up first. Do I have my power washer around here? Good. Maybe it's in the shop. It could be in the shop, but maybe I should probably buy one, put one outside. We got to, uh... It's uh, opening day. It's opening day, so we're gonna line up our cars that we have for sale, and then we're gonna do shop work, basically. Rolling Cold Customs. Now, if you guys don't don't know what Rolling Cold Custom is, Customs is Customs is. I made this like, uh, we made this shop like, oh, dude, how it must have been a long, long time ago. Uh, probably like a month or two ago, I guess. Not too long ago, but uh, what what we do is we do custom uh, we do custom work here on Rolling Cold Customs. And so you guys saw the name, dude. The name is sweet. I love the name, even though sometimes we don't have some diesel trucks. But uh, the truck we're getting from the uh, the sheriff is a diesel truck. They impounded it. Guy never came for it. So they're just like, here, here's your payment for doing work on some of our cars. So we're getting a, basically a free truck. Or not free, but we're doing some work for them. So first of all, I want to clean, clean off the Ram. I want to get these tires all shiny. This thing isn't being sold. This is my daily driver, boys. This is my daily driver. She looks, she looks, uh, looks special. I like her. I like her. Okay. Rims are all clean. Dude, I think it, the white goes good with the chrome rims, too. I think this looks pretty sweet. Now, I'm... Okay, you guys know me. You guys, you guys should know me, at least. I'm a big fan of just complete stock trucks. Okay. Oh, man. I just hit a car right there. But I'm a big fan of just completely stock trucks. And so, this actually looks uh, pretty good to me, even though it's, like, pretty much close to stock, you know? But I just I just love stock trucks for some reason. Most, most stock tr trucks, I guess you could say. So, right now, um, we're getting a new tow rig. So, this is going up for sale. So what I'm going to do is unhook the trailer quick, and then we got to go pick up, oh, dude, we got to go pick up the guy's uh, old Chevy that he wants to lower. That's what I got to do first. I got to bring that thing first, because I really want to get to that, and I want to show you guys this. This is sweet. I think this is, like, the first ever mod that you can use airbags, that you can lower in Farming Simulator. Like, oh, dude, it, it, it's awesome. Awesome. I got to show you guys. Okay, so first of all, let me get my trucks out, and then we can we can go pick that up. I got to get my new trailer, too, to pull it with. Okay. So, um, do I have, uh, I do, I do, I do. Sweet. There we go. Okay, so. We'll pull the Chevy out front, and we're going to throw a for, for sale sign up on her. I just, like, line up all my trucks right here. There we go. Perfect. And then we also have a couple more trucks for sale. The old John Deere we tuned up, and then the old, uh, not old, but, like, brand new Chevy that we put a lift kit on. This thing looks amazing. I just think this thing looks amazing. The, I don't know what you call it. The, oh, is it, it's not Suma. It's something like that. It's, like, the off-road series or something. I forget. I have no idea what it's called, I guess. Okay, so this is for sale, too. We, we picked this one up. Um, with a salvage title, fixed her all up. Now she looks sweet, but uh, we're gonna put her up for sale too. So I'm gonna just put her out here. One thing is, it's like delayed. Like it'll, like I'll, I'll give her gas. It'll be delayed, and then it'll just take off. It just wants to take off. Okay, dude. Oh, all Chevys. We're selling all Chevys. Oh, we got another Chevy, the custom John Deere. We're putting up for sale too. The farmer still hasn't came and picked up his truck that we did a conversion on to throw a flatbed on and stuff because it was all, all stock. So he's gotta come and pick that up yet. Oh, John Deere, boys. Oh, boy. Did I just hit that truck? Yes, I did. This thing just flies. Okay, check this out. Check this out. I know I'm supposed to play, like, super realistic. But, man, just check this out. Okay. Oh, man. I thought we were going to really hit that. Okay, I better not get her too dirty. We'll put her back up here. Oh, dude. I should put it like this. Yeah. I feel like I should put, put some special truck, I guess, for sale. You know, just leave it right there. But for now, we'll line her up real nice. 
for the shop. And then, um, oh, okay, so the we'll take the limited. We'll take the Dodge limited. And then we will, uh, there we go. We'll put it right here. We'll take the Dodge limited and go pick up, pick up my new enclosed trailer. Because this should be able to handle it. Yeah, it should be able to. Dude, one thing about, like, Dodges, I feel like they've always made a horrible, like, interior. Like, like, Dodge makes, okay, sorry, not to diss on Dodge too much. But don't you guys admit, like, Dodge used to make a horrible interior. They may still do, but they're, they're, like, I think it's the Lambie and stuff in limited edition. Like, interiors are getting pretty nice on Dodges. Like, the big thing about Dodges used to be their diesel engines, the Cummins. I mean, and it still is, of course. But now Dodges, Dodges getting together. They're getting a nice interior. They're getting a nice looking truck nowadays. They used to have, I mean, not that they didn't have a nice looking truck, but man. Okay, basically what I'm trying to say uh, is today's Dodges, like, are, are starting, they're just starting to look pretty nice and stuff. Yes probably pissed off a lot of uh old dodge people i guess by saying their old dodges didn't look too good but no the interiors i didn't think looked the best let's be honest like especially like between 2000 and uh 2010 or so okay so we are going to uh okay so we gotta pick up the enclosed trailer we gotta pick up the enclosed trailer over here i'm gonna try to play like super realistic for you guys too we're gonna oh gosh car car that's right dude i have traffic on so i better not get hit and then we're gonna go pick up okay any cars coming Dude, I do not want to get in a car crash this video. Okay, now, Expendables Modding, one of their guys had put a, uh, had changed up squares and closed trailer a little bit. He put LEDs, he did some other work, so it looks a lot cleaner. That's what we're using, actually. There we go, we'll connect her. Oh, she's squatting a little bit. But, this is the new tow rig, the Chevy. Now, you guys know, I don't like my truck stock. Look at this baby. It looks clean. Oh, it's got the Squad Farms logo on there. Oh, I thought I didn't put it on there. Whatever, it's fine. But man, I love that. Okay, so we're going to go pick up the uh, old Chevy that the guy wants airbags on. So we'll head over here. We'll pick this thing up. Dude, you guys got to see this thing once we put airbags on it. Oh, okay. We will... I use my blinkers? I use the blinkers? I, I guess maybe the blinkers don't work on this truck. I don't think they do. I'm pressing the button right here. And I don't think blinkers are work. Okay, so... It's up here. We take a left. I'm pretty sure it's on the street. And dude, he said he had it out front ready to go for us. So we'll take him. I don't want to drive it there. You know, I don't want to damage his truck at all. So we'll load it up in the trailer, of course. Speed limits 35. Okay, I can hear my blinker going. But it just doesn't sound like it's on. Oh, oh, oh by the way, shout out to Different Breed Modding for making this truck. I need to give more credits. And I apologize if you're a mod creator and I don't give you enough credits. Whenever I see like a logo or something, I'm like, okay, yeah, shout out to Different Breeds Modding because they made this truck, obviously. Okay. You guys see her? You got you boys see her? Boys and girls, I should say. You see her? There she is. There she is, boys. Okay, and girls. Um, so we're gonna uh, load this up. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Took out mailbox, man. Okay, hold on. Oh, dude, I did not see that mailbox. It was cool. I love how you can actually take out mailbox and you don't just like drive through them. That's sweet, dude. I wish I knew my uh my trucks a little better. Some trucks, some older trucks, I should say. Okay, so to unlower this, is it Z? No, you slide. You slide your mouse. Oh, there we go. Nice, right there. Perfect. Okay, sweet. Why am I whispering? No idea. Um, anyways, the Chevy. Now, he doesn't have airbags on her yet, so that's what we gotta do. We gotta put airbags on her. It'll lower the ground. The wheel will be going over the bed, dude, is what's gonna happen. Fire this thing up. Oh. Okay, we will load her up. I'll try not to scratch her at all. This is gonna be a little iffy. I don't know. I don't know, boys. We can do it. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button before I smash his truck in the trailer. Oh, it doesn't have any mirrors. Okay, that's good. Nice. Doesn't have any mirrors. Oh, we'll just keep just creeping her up in there. Okay, are we good? Did we hit the front? I think we're. Oh, I think we're good right there, man. I think we're good right there. Okay, so now, put up the gate. We'll haul her back to the shop and we'll throw some airbags on her. And then I don't know. I probably shouldn't drive it back, so I'll probably just. Pull it back again. The limited, she's squatting a little pretty good here. Okay, and so this has the Hemi in it. It doesn't have the, uh, doesn't have the, is it a Mini Cummins? Because I know, you know, Dodge makes a diesel, but is it a Mini Cummins? Do people call it Mini Cummins or is it not even a Cummins engine? I know they have a Eco, uh, it's an Eco diesel. I don't know if it's a Cummins though. I don't think it's a Cummins though. For some reason. I, I feel like if it was a Mini Cummins, they'd like have a little Cummins badge on the Dodge 1500. If it, if it was a Mini uh, actual true mini Cummins, but a lot of a lot of new half ton trucks. Oh gosh, we're popping wheelies, man! 
But not one you have to have in trucks are starting to get diesels, and that's pretty cool. Like the Ford, the F-150 is making a mini power stroke. I don't know. I think Chevy might be making a mini Duramax. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think they... I thought they were. Okay. And we should be to the shop soon. Dude, look at this. With a limited squat like this, this looks just... It looks perfect. Perfect setup right here. It's got like the perfect... It's squatting a little too much, but... That truck doesn't even weigh... Oh, I guess it is kind of a heavy old truck, so it probably does weigh a little bit. Okay. Oh, boy. Don't don't take it a bull. Don't hit a car. There we go. And then we got to go pick up two other uh, two other vehicles, too. Yeah, so we got a lot to do. We haven't put airbags in this thing yet. Oh, this is probably going to be a long video. There we go. And then I'm going to probably do some fun, more farming videos soon. You guys have been... Everybody was like, where are the other videos? Man, you just keep doing farming. That's what I'm doing for you guys. We're, we're, we're doing everything but farming for the next couple days. Don't take out the mailbox. There we go. Dude, it is tough. I need a steering wheel. I, you know, I bought a steering wheel, but it didn't really work good for farm sim. That's why I don't really have a steering wheel right now. Oh, is she going to make it? She's popping some wheelies, dude. I can't. Sometimes I can't even grip. There we go. Grip with the front wheels, I should say. Okay. We'll unload this thing. Just back her in right here. Pull around right there. Oh, gosh. Don't go off the edge. There we go. We'll throw the ramp down. There. Perfect. Okay. Open the door. Now, okay, so Expendables Modding, I've seen they have a shop that has a lift, like where you can actually lift cars up. So for right now, you know, I just honestly throw it in here and then just do a little change, but you guys don't see that little change happen. So we'll throw the truck in here. Start her up. Please don't damage her. Oh, man. Don't damage this thing. Come on. Slowly. Oh, dude, this is sweet. This is sick, dude. Look at this. Okay. There we go. We'll put her right here, and then we'll throw uh, we'll, we'll throw some airbags on this baby. So guys, we had some uh, issues. We had to take the tires down the street to a uh, to a tire specialist. They were all screwed up. So right now, it doesn't have any tires on there. No, I'm just messing. We got tires on there. Check her out. Check her out, boys. Check her out, dude. Look how low this thing is. Okay, the tires honestly have to be going through the engine right now. Think about this. Holy crap, dude. Okay, so the airbags, I think this guy's gonna like it. I don't think it's scraping the ground too much. I can't even check. Oh, dude. Okay, so watch this. Okay, airbags engage, brother. Check this out. Check this out. Look at that. So that's raising. So here's normal. Here's normal. Let me drive it out normal. And then let me lower it for you guys. Here's lowering. Oh my gosh, dude, this is farming simulator. Look what we have in farming simulator. Dude, the mod community is amazing. Shout out to Expendables modding for this. Oh, okay, besides one thing is that, dude, there's no way you can get around that, dude. The tires just go through when you turn, but dude. Oh my gosh, this is insane. By the way, shout out to uh, Exley Edits and uh, Hunter for this. Those two guys, I think, I don't know, there's probably a ton more people uh, behind making this mod, but those are the two guys I talked to you that kind of are big on Expendables mind and that kind of uh, gave me the mod. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, so we got to deliver it back to this guy. Um, I don't want to drive it there, so we're going to load it back up on the trailer again and deliver it to him. Now I'm going to lift Yeah, I lifted it up all the way so that we don't scrape anything. Oh gosh. There we go. Dude, honestly, like how would you... You would not be able to get up this trailer ramp, dude. You'd scrape your front end so bad. Like, even if you're pulling into, a, like, a driveway or something, it would scrape so bad. So, there you go. Lift her up with airbags. There we go, dude. Too bad we couldn't get it, like, insanely high, dude. That'd be sweet if we could go, like, really high up with it. Okay. Right there. Why not set her lower? We'll lower her down right there. I gotta just remember it's a lowered when I get up the... When I unload her. There we go. Okay, and we'll throw up the ramp and then go deliver this thing to my brother. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. We had this thing running. There we go. Okay, is there any lock... I don't know if there's any lock load script on this trailer. One thing. Oh, maybe we should pull it back with a different truck. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's try that out. Even though I do like this truck, I just want to try a different truck. So, um, hopefully nothing bad happens. This. Okay, there we go. Trailer comes up. There we go. Let's try it. Okay, not the John Deere, but I want to try my uh, custom truck since it hasn't sold yet. This is not for sale, so I'm going to put my daily driver just back here. And then I want to try my other truck. Okay, we got to go pick. Okay, I don't have enough enough talking. We got to go pick up those other trucks yet, dude. There's so much to do yet. Dude, I love this brown color. Even though it looks like the one of the crappiest colors ever, literally. But it looks, it, I don't know, the rims, 
Everything matches perfectly. So I got her hooked up and oh my gosh, she is squatting like crazy. Check this out. Okay, I know we're in the middle of the road right now, but check this out. So here's uh, unhooked. Here's hooked. <laughs> she squats, dude. At one point, I, like I couldn't see her. I wonder if we'll go on up this hill. Oh, and you can tell when you get in first person, you can tell she's squatting like a ton here. I wonder if we're gonna like pull a wheelie going up this. It sounds kind of cool though, too. Look at all the lights on this, too. Oh my gosh. I can't even see over the hood right now because she's squatting. She's tilting so much. Okay, I gotta remember what house it was, too. I don't even. Do you guys know what? I think I know what house it was. Okay, dude, maybe we need, uh, I, I feel like we need a three-quarter ton to pull this trailer. This is, uh, kind of a heavy trailer, it seems like. We'll go, I think it was, yeah, okay, I can see my tire marks, perfect. There we go, and then, uh, okay, I'll pull around, since we already took out somebody's mailboxes, the mailbox just laying on the side right there, if you guys remember me taking that out. We'll back in here. Don't take out the, my customer's mailbox, that would not be good. There we go, and we'll keep whipping her around, keep pushing her back, okay. I'm thinking that's good. Oh, gosh, man. I'm on the lawn. Okay. We'll throw her down. Okay. One thing is... Oh, my gosh. Okay. Now they threw down the ramp so much, it's making the trailer squat anymore. Um, or the truck squat anymore. Okay. Lift this thing up. That's right. There we go. Lift her up. Back her off the trailer, boys. Oh, man. This is sweet. Okay. Now drop her down. He's going to love this, dude. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have the dude's reaction. But there we go, boys. Look at her, dude. I wonder. Oh, by the way, so um, actually was telling me it was actually or Hunter. I think both of them kind of mentioned it that uh, they're working. I don't know which one, but they're working. Uh, they're working on a lowered uh, dually. So like, take for example, I think it was uh, like a 05 Chevy dually, and so it's gonna be lowered like all the way, dude. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be sweet. So you're gonna take a dually, and they're gonna throw airbags on it, and you can lower it all the way just like this. Oh man, it looks sick. Okay, so. We gotta take this back, which for now, oh man, we gotta get going. We gotta get going. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna just leave it at the customer's house and we are gonna tab to my new Chevy over here. Oh, wrong one, wrong one. That's what we gotta pick up from the cops over there. Okay, we're in the area. There we go. Oh, I was gonna load them on this. I don't know if this will work too good, but I wanna get my new Chevy Dually and I wanna hook her to the new car, car hauler we got right here. I almost said Carl Hawker. Carl Hawker, Carl Hauler, Carl Hauler, Carl Hauler, Carl Hauler, Carl Hauler. Oh my gosh, I'm just getting confused with my words. There we go. Look her up. Oh yeah. Now this Carl Hauler, dude, it's not like the, uh, it's not perfect, but uh, oh, she'll get the job done, I think. One thing is, I want to get, I don't know why I keep doing this, but I want to get rid of these, I, th I don't know what they're called, the uh, like CB in tennis. You know, those are the one things I hate. I don't think they look on a truck at all, even though, I mean, Stuff's always not for looks, but uh, but for some reason, if you don't need them, I don't I don't think they look good. Let's just say some people some people put them on for looks. You gotta admit, just to have some big wacky antennas, you know, back there. Okay, we'll throw the ramps down, and then over there is a two truck. So, oh man, is that the cat eye? Is that the cat eye, Dermax? So they said there's a truck that they impounded that since I was rolling coal customs, and this truck rolled a little coal out the back, they were like, hey, do you want this truck? And I was like, yes. And then they're like, okay, you can do it if you throw a police unit on my on our uh, Dodge over here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw headlights on it. We're gonna throw a bar on it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just uh, get this thing ready to go for the streets, basically. Because right now it's an undercover one, and they want changed a little bit. So we gotta we gotta upgrade the performance on this thing a little bit. So we'll load the uh, Duramax up quick, since this is what we're getting, and then we'll also load the Dodge up. Now, is it a Dodge? I'm pretty sure it's Dodge SRT over there. I heard those things are getting wicked fast. The Dodge is making. They're throwing like a Hellcat engine in those things. I, I've heard. Dude, that'd be sweet. Having your family just riding in the back. And then you can just. Oh, man. You got a crazy engine and just an SUV. Just like a family car. And then just she just takes off down the road. Oh, that'd be sweet. The grocery getter. That's insanely quick. Here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. This thing does roll cool. Perfect. It'd be perfect for our shop. Okay, we'll just put it right here. And now we need the SRT up there. Oh, dude, we should put a lowering kit on it. No, the, the cops don't need a lowering kit on this thing. Dodge Durango. Is it an actual Durango? I think it might be Dodge Durango SRT. Or maybe that's the Cherokees, the Grand Cherokees, whatever that you can put, uh, that, that they now put the Hellcat engine in. There we go, right there. Could be good. 
Perfect. Ooh, is that going to fall off? We see, we don't have a lock load script. Oh, she's squatting a little bit too. Oh, is it going to hit it? Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Don't. Oh, my gosh, man. Oh, okay. It's good to go. Okay. I didn't even expect that. I thought we were pulled up further enough. Any cars coming? Nope. We are ready to rock and roll, dude. There we go. The hood scoop on these Chevys just. Oh, man. They just make it look so much like. It's like. It's like. I don't know. It's like adding a hood scoop just makes these trucks look like jacked. I don't know if, if that's a good way of comparison, but they just look. I don't know, they just look beefy once you put a uh, hood scoop on, on these Chevys. I don't know, it looks me it look uh, just mean, you know? Okay. Duramax is pulling good through here. We're gonna take her back up. The cat eye, we're not gonna do anything to. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it as a personal truck or just put her on the for sale lot. I have no idea yet. But the uh, Dodge, we gotta throw uh we gotta throw some lights on her. Do a lot of performance stuff. Okay, when I got here, the cat eye is just about to fall off. So we gotta get that thing off the trailer. We gotta do, uh, we gotta put this in the shop quick. Oh, dude, don't fall off. Please don't fall off. There we go. Perfect. We'll throw this in the shop real quick. And then get this. Oh, boy, don't scrape the wall. There we go. Perfect. And then now we gotta get the cat eye off of here. Dude, this is just a sweet truck. This has been like, this is like a early mod in farming somewhere, too. Oh, don't tilt. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, my gosh, dude. We're just destroying this truck. It's made for it, though. It's good. It's all good. Dude. Oh, yeah, that's right. The suspension is so nice on this. Look at this. Oh, you can see it just, like, go up and down, like, perfectly. I love it. Okay, watch it. Watch me try to climb this. Oh, she's going to do it. She's going to do it. Look at her go. I could probably just wheelie off this thing. That's just amazing. I don't know. We got to... I don't know if I want to sell it, though. Should I put it up for sale? Let me know in the comment section. If we should try to put this up for sale at uh, Rolling Coal Customs, baby. You guys think we should sell this thing or just like keep it as like, uh, just keep her as decorate, not decoration, but uh, just around the shop. Okay, so customize the Dodge is what we got to do next. Okay, so I turned her all black. We just blacked her out pretty much. So it's still kind of undercover. And then you got the light on the top. Check this out. Check her out. You got the lights flashing. Oh, they did the light work where it switches back and forth too. Oh my gosh, dude. There we go. Or I guess we did. Sorry, sorry, not them. Obviously, okay, so obviously, guys, I just I just went and customized it. It was already in here. I didn't like I, I basically just went and customized it and cut out the part where I customized it. But check this out, dude. Oh man. Okay, we gotta go. Oh, okay, home button. That's right. All the shrubs are on here. Siren. Oh, there we go. And then we gotta deliver this back to the police department. So for doing this, they paid us that cat eye. I think it was a pretty good deal for us, I'm thinking. But anyways, guys, this will be the end of the video for Rolling Cole Customs, baby. If you guys did enjoy it, smack that like button, boys, and I will see you guys later. Thanks, guys.